Welcome to Lima Charlie. This is a quick video tutorial to help guide you through the process of installing your first sensor or agent. This video assumes that you've already created an account and your first organization. The screen in front of you should look very much like the one I have up right now. The first thing we're going to want to do is create an installation key and we do that by clicking on the menu item of the same name. Uh, on the screen you will note a blue plus sign in the upper right corner. We're going to click that and then we're going to give our key a name. Uh, we also have the option to include any tags. Uh, tags will be associated with all the data produced by the assets that are installed with this key in the data stream. Um, but don't worry, you're not tied to any tags that you use right now. They can be created and destroyed dynamically, either through the web interface or automatically as part of the endpoint detection and response cycle. Uh, this can be really handy if you see some suspicious behavior you can apply a tag suspicious to a given endpoint asset and uh, use that to initiate a further investigation but i'm getting too far ahead of myself for now i'm going to give this installation key to tag vip and we'll just pretend that we're installing this on the ceo's laptop once I've created the key, I will copy it to my clipboard and then I'll head over to Sensor Downloads. On the Sensors Download page, you will see that we have builds available for 32 and 64-bit Windows, 32 and 64-bit Linux, as well as Mac OS. Uh, our Windows build supports all the way back to Windows XP and uh, we've recently built the sensor for 32 and 64-bit ARM. Uh, both Windows and Linux, so if you're interested in endpoint security for IoT, please do be in touch with us. We'd love to talk to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and download the Mac OS sensor right now because that is the machine that I'm running, and I'll open up a terminal. Um, I will cd into my downloads folder, and I will become root because I need root permissions to install the sensor properly. Uh, I will also need to give the sensor execute permissions and then I will run the sensor with the dash I flag followed by the installation key I just copied to my clipboard. Uh, I've installed the sensor. If I ever need to remove it, I can just run that script again with the dash C flag uh, and that will take it completely off the machine. If we pop back into the web app, and go over to the sensors menu tab, we will see our computer has come online. And if I click on the clipboard icon, I can see details about the endpoint I just installed the agent on. We can see the tag that was added when we created the installation key, and uh, we can add remove any more through this interface as well. So that's the installation process for an agent or sensor. Um, it can all be done programmatically. Everything that you've seen in this demo uh, is built with our publicly accessible APIs. So if you're a larger organization um, looking to add endpoint capability to your pipeline, this can all be automated away.